something like this. Thirteen point five kilometer range, eighteen K, seventy six knots. You don't, you don't dodge these torps. You don't dodge them. If I was going to play this, and this was what I'd go with, just a bit of a, a meme build. If you're going to play a torpedo boat, you may as well commit to it. Eight hundred meters concealment, and seventy-six knots. You, you see them, uh, and you just go, "Oh fuck!" That, that's all you've got time to. Do. That's all you've got time to do. Please check the alternative flag. Uh, Chinese flag, Navy of the People's Republic of China. Is the flag on? There is no camos available. Okay. So we'll we'll start So West Formosa An effing an effing plan flag on a US design. Ho hold on a second. I, I, I'm, I've got no responsibility in, in this. You're the one wanting to look at the flag. Which he can go back off. Look, you're the one asking me. Oh, what's the flag? Don't go raging when I show you the flag. You've got two flags. Pan-Asia and... People's Republic of China. Don't shoot the messenger, chat. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, we'll we'll just look at the basics. You get damage control party. You get a choice. Oh wait, you get a choice between smoke generator and radar. I didn't realize you get smoke or radar. Kunming. You get engine boost. The radar is seven point five. Suddenly it becomes a bit nasty. I mean, it's designated as a Pan-Asian destroyer. This is all I know. I'm I'm looking at the ship for the first time, you guys. It's designated Pan-Asian. So you get a choice between smoke and radar. 25 second, 7.5 kilometer radar. I wanted to see if Wargaming went full-on retired with catering to the West Taiwan Separatists. I'm not going to get involved with any discussions like this. We'll keep politics out of it, chat. Okay, we got engine boost. Torpedo reload booster. Armor is usually pretty basic on a DD. 19 millimeters, yeah. All 19 millimeters. Deck. And placing superstructure 13. The turrets get all round protection of 20 millimeters. Which is actually quite nice. Because it means that the majority of DD HE won't actually knock out your turrets. Survivability. 24,050 hit points. Artillery. 5 second reload. 13.4 kilometer range. The max dispersion is 115 meters. Remember, I'm running with a full torpedo build on these. So this is not the max reload or accuracy. High explosive, 1800 max damage, 5.5% fire chance, 21 millimeters of penetration, 
792 meters per second and the AP does 2100. So the torpedoes, you get three X5 launchers. These are all centrally mounted. So you can use them on all sides. 13.5 kilometer range. Now these are deep water torpedoes. So you, you can't hit enemy DDs. You can only hit cruisers, battleships and carriers. 13.5 kilometer range, 18,800 damage, 76 knots of speed and very stealthy torps. They can be detected at 800 meters. Quite deadly torpedoes. Death charges. Two charges, 12 bombs per charge, 1700 damage. You see the damage difference compared to the previous the Humphreys. AA defense. 10 of these twin mounted 20 millimeter. Two single mounted 76. And then two twin mounted 76 millimeter. Main battery doubles up. Dual purpose. These H 127s. Continuous average damage, 226. Uh, the most of this is, it's kind of split between short and medium range. Four shell explosions, 680, nothing, nothing too, nothing too spectacular here. 5.8 kilometer firing range. 39.9. Speed, this is with speed plague, 38 base, and you also get engine boost for 8%. Turning circle, 700. Rudder ship time of 4.4 seconds. And concealment of 6.3 kilometers. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.